Tonight, price gougers are paying the price. Nearly a year after Hurricane Irma, the state slams businesses accused of jacking up costs during a state of emergency. But when Contact 5 investigator Katie Legrone looked deeper, she discovered the state's promise to fight price gougers appears to be falling short. September 2017. This is an enormous storm. Full of twists. Tornado warnings. Significant flooding. Turns. The winds at 130. 144 miles an hour. And warnings. Price gouging on water. It's disgusting. We're not going to have it. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi's on-air threats resulted in some 14,000 price gouging complaints during Irma alone. You cannot inflate prices. And just as she promised. I can help stop it. I'm going to go after you. Florida's top consumer advocate is making good. This is a bullshit. Or is she? Their judgment is wrong. Ten months after complaints accuse some Florida businesses of jacking up gas prices or hiking up hotel rooms, the Florida AG's office has reprimanded 10 Florida businesses. 10. Uh, it seems like there should have been more for out of 14,000. Bill Newton of Florida's Consumer Action Network. Do these numbers suggest that the state really is taking price gouging seriously? It doesn't look like it. I think they've tried hard to make the numbers look like they are, but it's just very little actual action. According to the AG, an estimated 1,400 consumers have or will receive price gouging refunds from Irma, totally more than $200,000. We're glad that some people did get some money back. We were hoping to talk to somebody about the price gouging. The Tarpon Springs Inn, now one of two Florida hotels being sued by the state for gouging customers. This hotel did it twice, said the AG, hiking up nightly rates nearly 120 percent during Irma and nearly 300 percent a night during Hurricane Matthew a year earlier. I just totally knew once. You so just started, so know. you don't know about the price no, gouging. People want to know why did you guys price gouge during Hurricane My understanding Irma. was. Well, this Tampa market was slapped with two grand in fines for raising water prices during Irma to $14.99 a case. Actually, it was not our mistake. Our cost was $9.99. They're supposed to give us $4.99. Actually, me and my boss were out of town when that happened. This supervisor blames another employee for his water woes, now costing them three grand. So it was another employee who did yeah, what? You know, that used to work here and took it upon himself to, to raise the price on the product. To what? To $19.95. I'm going to throw that away my water. And this gas station owner is only blaming. $16, my cost was. That's, you, you spent $16, $16 for those dollar cases case of water. I sell to lady that $20, so I make only $4. The state. They are totally wrong. So why, why didn't you challenge the state? I challenge all lady. I challenge, I give the paperwork, everything. So the next That's time there's enough. a state of we emergency. We are not going to buy any more water. <laughs> next, honey, honey, I'm not going to sell any single water. Any customer asks, you know, I'm going to close the door. In our area, gas station in Riviera Beach and one in Boca also reprimanded for price gouging. The AG's office still investigating about a thousand more complaints and say most are not investigated because not enough information is provided with the claims like photos and receipts. See who else the state is going after by heading to our website. Katie Legrone, WPTV News Channel 5.